So I think the main challenges for leadership in global in this, is in this global age of turbulence is that we have the leadership of the few at the moment. You have to ask yourself when you look at who's running companies, um, who runs a nation, uh, who runs governmental decisions, parliamentary decisions, uh, who are these people and, and who is actually missing from that group of decision makers. And very quickly it becomes evident that, for example, half the world's population uh, women uh, are staggeringly missing from these decision-making processes and the actual leadership tables. So it is critically vital if we want to indeed change systems, if we want to redesign systems, uh, to bring in new actors uh, who can really take the lead. And uh, climate justice, the paradigm there, tells us that we really have to include people from economically marginalized communities and people of color. And why? Because they are the ones who suffer the consequences of climate change the most and hence can speak with greatest authenticity and urgency. So activism is still absolutely vital to drive things forward. Activists essentially show the direction of travel and they, they work to bring people along on a journey with them. This is ultimately a journey. No one's there. We don't know what the solutions are. We're working on bringing solutions together. Everybody is called to be an activist, whether that is a person still in school or someone in their retirement. Um, an activist can be a mother at home. It can be a CEO. It can be a member of a board. Uh, there are no limits. I think activism has to take all sorts of shapes and format. Uh, it is not reduced to the few people that we traditionally thought of as activists, say Greenpeace, warrior, uh, app sailors. Um, the activist is now very much the ordinary person and activism is available to everyone and is really something we should do as part of our role as citizens. So we've got to think about activists as cultivators. They are increasing opinion leaders and they are shaping the consensus that we have about how we want our future to look. And um, as such, they're also bridge builders and um, really absolutely vital in achieving a sustainable future.